Welcome, this is Food with Life. I am Jörg Chapati and we are here in Dalarna, Sweden at the Masses Gordon Health Retreat. There are two wonderful naturopathic doctors, Dr. Eureka Nostint and our wonderful Dr. Ito Williamson. Thank nice you. to have you, you here. Welcome. Wonderful being here, thank you. You know, this retreat has many, many things for healing the body. And I know we like to focus more on foods, but since we're here in the food area and we have all these things to eat, I want to take a plate, you know, and eat something. But with all this here, I don't know where to start. What would you suggest? Well, Rika will show the way because she's been working here for many years and she serves the guests and helps them find better health through the great foods. That plate is yours. All right. Thank where do you. we begin? Thank you. We will start at this end, which is fermented veggies. And it could be beetroots, um, carrots, beans, etc. So we started the fermented, and is that yes. a reason why? Yes. Because there's so many other foods. I know. Yes, there is a reason. And it, it, it's been proven that these fermented foods are very good for your digestion, very good for your immune system. So we have the sauerkraut, which is used a lot in Germany, all of Europe. It's been esteemed for its qualities of helping you as a natural antibiotic. It helps get rid of the bad bugs and makes you healthier and it's great for digestion. So starting with the fermented foods helps the digestive process. If you eat a little bit of them in the beginning, mm -hmm. it stimulates your digestive enzymes to handle all the other foods better. So it's for the uh, probiotic effect, yes? Yes, these, ter these uh, are used by our gut bacteria mm. to increase the amount of gut bacteria. They're considered prebiotics. Prebiotics? Yes, because they're food for your probiotics. So that they grow in our your acidophilus, bifidus bacteria, they grow and uh, do great on these uh, prebiotics. I'm confused about one thing. So the prebiotic is something that, that helps the probiotic. Right. So the probiotic, let's say you say the uh, lactobacillus yes. and the different types of culture in the, in the body. Yes. Is that a probiotic or a prebiotic? Yes. It, and the, the, the actual good bacteria in your gut yes. that is you call the probiotics and you can also take supplements of probiotics or you can take like cultured milks which have the probiotic bacteria in them already delivered in that state and you can feed your good bacteria with those cultured milks or those supplements but by taking prebiotics what you do is you feed those good bacteria right. and help them grow because it's a balance of the good and the neutral and the bad bacteria. And a lot of people get the problems with their stomachs and health when they have too many of the bad bacteria. So you want to always feed those good bacteria. Good, good. Work. Yeah, so we start with feeding start them. With. <laughs> Looks good. Yes, Very wonderful. Good. And a lot of the Swedes, they make their own sauerkraut, a lot of these Europeans. And here we have the beets, which are wonderful for your liver. Mm -hmm. It helps you detoxify uh, you know, chemicals, metals. Mm -hmm. It's very good for your liver, very cleansing. Mm -hmm. So it's great to have the beets too. Yeah, I don't want to be too beat though. No, okay. the, the beet <laughs> keeps you from getting beat. <laughs> so, so I have a pretty, a pretty color green now. Yes, we have this wonderful green here. It's, it's the watercress. I want to make sure... Uh, mm, delicious. Yes, it is a uh, very, very good watercress. And watercress is actually, besides being a sprout, it's a wonderful medicine for your liver. It helps detoxify a lot of chemicals and metals. Mm -hmm. So when you're eating sprouts, it's good to eat a lot of different kinds of sprouts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're not just eating alfalfa sprouts, but eat these other ones. You can find the red clover sprouts, the mm -hmm. buckwheat, and the watercress and so forth. They're all wonderful. Now, I notice in the greens, the greens, and the alfalfa, when they're green, there's, there's a, something which is strong for the physiology, chlorophyll. Yes, chlorophyll. Now, what does it, how does it come into play and it, how important is it? Well, chlorophyll is the blood of the plants. So the chemical structure of chlorophyll is very similar to our blood, mm -hmm. except you have magnesium in the center, and in our blood we have iron in the center. Mm -hmm. So the chlorophyll actually has also disinfecting properties so it helps keep the digestive tract mm -hmm. clean and helps keep it in great shape and it also gives this energy the, the blood of the plant 
to us, the energy of the plant, that the plant gets the energy from the sun, yes. and then it passes on this energy through the chlorophyll. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. What would be the next thing we're going for? Well, you got to get some sprouts watercress there, yes? here. And your uh, alfalfa sprouts. Oh. That's good fiber and it's now, really tasty. Now, how is it they, that they, they become, everyone they, who has this, they know that all these are good natural remedies. How? Well, th this has been, of course, proven through hundreds and, and through thousands of years, and then many of these, the last 50 years, have, have been researched quite, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So now we have the, the food chemists and the scientists uncovering the properties of fiber and fermented foods. These last 50 years, there's been a great amount of studies that show that these are very, very, com very, very powerful medicines, the, these uh, foods. So that's where we want to get the message out. That food is thy medicine. It's the best medicine, like Hippocrates said 2000, over 2,000 years ago. This is Food with Life.